Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Duena and thank you so much for joining me today. Now in today's episode of things that I did not need but I purchased anyway, I got quite a bit. I have some things from Ross, Bells, Home Goods, Target, Marshall, and TJ Maxx. Is that it? That's gonna be it. So yeah, so how's everybody doing? Let's get right into this video. I don't know where I want to start for. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do Ross first. Because Ross is just soap. I love smells. You guys know that I'm a fan of it. You smell good, you look good, you feel good. I am a firm believer. So anytime, let me know down in the comments if anybody else is like this. When I go to like Walmart or Target, and I only go in Walmart just either for groceries or just personal items like soap. I always have to smell their soap and deodorant. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so yeah, so Ross had Dove, and I love Dove. I only bathe in Dove or either Dial soap. So, and then I like that um, OG brand too from only the coffee one though. But yeah, I love Dove, and I just got some different scents. This is just the original. And then I ended up, I got two of these. So when I see stuff like this at Ross, I get it from Ross. Normally I used to get it from Bells because Bells had their Dove cheaper. But lately I've noticed, I, I don't know what they're adding to their Dove because they don't lather. Like, I, I don't try. And then I ended up getting two of the lavender. What is this? Yeah. Um. I'm starting this video off wrong already. Girl, get it together. And I love this scent. It's a nice summer scent to me, the lavender. So I like that one. But this one right here, I've been um, in any time that I have body wash. Not any time, child. What is going on with this video already? Jesus. Get it together. Sorry, Father. I'm not trying to use your, your name in vain. But yeah. In my shower, you will always see two different kind of body washes at all times because I like to trade them out. I don't like to just shower with the same one until I run out. No, I like to switch it up. And sometimes I have three or four at one time. This is no lie. <laughs> no lie. I like to, even in between, like when I'm, because I shower, well, I lather my whole body three times. So, and I kind of go back and forth with them. But yeah, but this one right here feels very moisturizing after I use this one. So lately, I've just been using this one and this one alone because it feels so good on the skin. And it actually smells pretty good. This is a Purely Pampering. It's got coconut milk and jasmine petals. It smells good. And the last one that I got, not last, and I ended up getting two of these. This is the one um, Shea Butter Warm Vanilla. And this one actually smells pretty good. <laughs> and that one feels just like the other one. So, yeah. And I got to get the skin right. And then I always have like a bar of soap in my shower too. Because right before, I, I know this is TMI. But right before, like right when I get in the shower, I always use like a, a bar of soap. And I always lather my underarms and my private area real good with just the soap and rinse it of course come on now and then i go in with my body wash three times yes and i bathe my whole entire body if you skip legs because some idiots out here thinking that you only just supposed to shower your top half and the soap <laughs> run off and it washes your lower half i don't understand that okay girl yeah, okay, that's all that I ended up getting for Raw's Hell. That's all that I needed because that was a lot within itself. And I got those on the same trip. So let's get right on into Bells. And then I just ended up getting, what is this? A Petty Scrub. I've used the other ones before and they actually is really good to get the dead skin off. I like to exfoliate my body because I have to, especially dealing with psoriasis and eczema. For, for you guys that don't know, if you're new here, I suffer with that on my hand and feet only. So any little thing I can get, honey, to scrub these little rough behind. 
heels, then I, I just pick it up. So I ended up getting that from Bells. And another thing, if you know me, I love tees. Tees and um, joggers. I like comfort. When I'm out and about, you will always see me comfortable, honey. Still come up and say, hey girl, give me a little hug because I'm a hugger. Well, you can't really hug everybody. But hey, if I see you friendly, I, <laughs> it's going to be like a little church folks hug. It ain't going to be no full on hug. It will be <laughs> backing up. So yeah, but... And again, we're not a fan of Disney. We're just not, but the color in person, it's coming up a little bit redder, but it's actually in person, it's a whole lot darker, but it's coming up a whole different color. And it's oversized, so, hey. Sorry, I have to fold that, I can't just fold it up. And then the last little tee that I got is Child's Play. This was a fan when I was coming up in the 80s when it was 80s early 90s I don't remember but whatever I like that cuz I'm a creep Halloween is my favorite time of the year the month of October why I always say that I don't know okay. and there's another this other thing that I got from Bells I couldn't even believe that I got it because I'm not a fan of buzz like these types of buzz I'm not a fan of like the little ones that you always see in home goods but for this i actually thought it was a very nice size they had like four pieces that was like 16.99 and i looked at normally i go for the imperfections on items i don't like the polished looks i always go for the odd little ugly bird but they had a whole bunch of them that had something was wrong with the noses it looked like they had leprosies so I was like, because back in that era, that's when lepr leprosy was around, whatever that disease, you know what I'm talking about. Child, don't have me to explain nothing. But yeah, I ended up getting this one because I actually thought that was for a very good size, being this big. I don't like the smaller ones. So I guess that's why I just don't gravitate to the other ones. But yeah, it's not as heavy as it looked but it's heavy, but it's not as heavy. And then the last thing that I got from Bells is this throw blanket. Girl, I wish y'all had fill a vision Smell-a-vision and fill a vision This right here feels so freaking good. Oh my goodness. And the black, if you see it in person, oh, mm -mm. I'm almost afraid to wash it, but I have to wash it, come on now. And I don't even know why I got it on me like that. But I have to wash it. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good deal. This was $24.99. So, I, I like little throws and stuff. I'm a fan of them. Oh, all the soap that I got was $7.49. And the bars was, I think, $3.99. So, yeah. So, let's get right into Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls. I like to go to Home Goods. It's got the Marshalls attached or TJ Maxx. So, and I'm gonna first start off, candles. You know me in candles, I don't even know. Don't be over there blowing your breath because I love candles. If you're new here, pretty much nine times out of 10, you're always going to see a candle in my video. I love candles, I love scents, so, sorry. Uh, no, this smell, okay, this is my DW Home Modern Gentleman. It smelled very light, like a man. So I don't know, cause the one that I got that's on the table is a black tuxedo. And when I say it is very light, it's very light. And I kind of hate that I got it. It's one of the bigger ones that was for $14.99. This was $9.99. I don't know, I like the aesthetic of it though. So if you're not like a huge fan of scents, then this may be perfect for you because it's so, I wanna say it's, it's very subtle. So you may end up liking that if you can find it. Then I ended up getting this sandalwood and musk. Now this one, I hope this burned like my last sandalwood because I when I said I burned that candle every day. 
So I'm a fan of sandalwood anyway. So I hope that is a good one. This was $7.99. And then I ended up getting the lavender chamomile. I got it in the big one in the small one. This was $9.99. And the other one was $14.99. This actually do smell when you burn it. Now, a lot of DW Homes candles to me don't actually burn. Well, don't. Well, they don't burn good, and then plus they don't smell. Sometimes you can get a really good one, like this one is really good. And it smells good, too. So that was that size. But let me show you the other size that I got. And this one was for $14.99. The pur Now, purple is my favorite color, even though you probably can't tell because I always do a whole lot of black. And no, black is not my favorite color, but I love it in the home. But this color purple is a winner. I just hate the top on it. And then my last candle that I got, I ended up getting four of these. This is really good. It's on the lake. Guys. I know I say this all the time. If you see these in Home Goods, smell them just so you can get a sense of what I like. I know everything is not for everybody, but I like scents like that. <sighs> so good. Now, I wish I can find these in this size and in then that bigger size. But these I were $7.94. Let me put these in here. I really need space to um house all my candles because half these things in a box honey you come over here or you um if you know me and you got something special going on i promise you you're gonna get some candles <laughs> you're gonna get a whole set honey because i just love the scents okay and so I have these pieces already before. So these are actually repeat purchases, but of course, no stones are ever the same. So I ended up picking up another Spears. So I actually got, this is the third one. And I'll show you where I put this one at a later video. But yeah, I love these, gorgeous. And I told you something about bronze right now. And that's Real Onyx. That was $29.99. And this next piece, can you see the details on here? Oh my God. This was so good. Now, this was a repeat purchase. I already have one like this. And then I have another um, shape. I'm not too fond of the other shape, but I really do love these. And so you can put like a little stem in it, a little branch. I will put something very, only one though, but like something that curved out, like actually had a deformity and just like spread out. I think that would be gorgeous if I can find something that kind of, I can't even, and like spread out. Almost like a bonsai tree, how it's like curved. Uh, girl, bye. Okay, and my next item, the last item that I got from Home Goods. It's another petrified wood bowls. Hey, people, do not judge me. If I see one that I'm in love with, like my last, God, they're so good. You can use these pretty much any and everywhere. So I like that. So I had to get. Now let's move on to Target. I only got two things from Target and then that's it. So I needed some more. I wanted to like update my measuring cups. So I saw that they had these. It's the heart and hand collection and they were $8.99 and they're actually metal. Now, child, you see, I needed these. You, you, you see this? I had to upgrade. So I no longer need these tacky. I went through a colorful stage one time, probably about seven years ago. I had like the plates, Girl, I was looking like a little, uh, the rainbow kid. And no, I'm not that. But, um, but yeah, like it was just colorful. I had like the, the plates 
all this color, the cups. Chai, <laughs> didn't know no better. <laughs> So the last item that I got from um Home Goods must be talking about me, but from um Target. I haven't seen this on anybody's channel, and I'm loving this. I'm going to put this right on the back of my couch, the table that I have right on, on the back, and I want to style that in my next video. So I can this little marble base lamp. Now I've said it time and time again, I'm not a fan of marble. I love Onyx, soap song. My next home, my dream home, I want my countertops to be Onyx or soap song and the bathrooms to be either or. That's my dream. I really want that in my space. So yeah, but when I saw this, they had two. I didn't get them then. And then when I went back like a week later, this thing is heavy. When I went back a week later, of course they were gone. And so then I, and I hate that when I don't get something because I should have got both of the two just to see how, the only thing I don't like, and I'm all over the place, is this lampshade. It's very unique and odd, but I kind of don't like it. I want to change it, change it out, but for now, it'll be sand. But yeah, this is an actual real marble base. It was $60. So hopefully... And you really can't see, like it's just got just minimal veining. I wanted something with more veining.